Well, it's a costly crime. Shoplifters swindling retailers out of billions of dollars each year, and it's happening in stores across greater Cincinnati. Now law enforcement are finding new ways to stamp it out. WLWT News 5's Daisy Kershaw sat down with investigators from the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office. She joins us live to explain how they're working to track these suspects down, Daisy. Well, Chris, experts with the Intelligence Division at the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office tell me the availability of self-checkout is just one factor contributing to the rise in shoplifting. But new technologies are helping law enforcement officials work more on the prevention side of this issue rather than just apprehension. Shoplifting and retail theft is something that we've been seeing grow in numbers over, the, over recent years. It happens every day. Shoplifters stealing from grocery stores, retail chains, and small businesses. In Cincinnati, just over the past few days, several accused shoplifters booked into the Hamilton County Justice Center for allegedly stealing from spots like Kroger, Macy's, and Dillard's, each one charged with theft. Local agencies, like the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office, working together to crack down on these crimes. Now that we have technology, we have analysts, we have the ability to communicate with other agencies, look at our own data, and see how these things are connected, and very often they are. They're often not just hitting one store. They're often, if especially in organized retail theft, they're hitting chains of stores, they're hitting different areas. And sometimes it's not the store that's a target, but a specific item. Certain items such as the Stanley Cup becomes more marketable and trendy. Earlier this month, more than $2,000 worth of Stanley Cups and beach bags stolen from the Dick's Sporting Goods at Liberty Center. The Butler County Sheriff's Office saying it was the second time that store was hit in two months. That's going to make people want to go in there and steal these items and then repurchase it, whether that's online or in consignment stores or just to their friends and up the value. Today, the third and final suspect arrested, all three facing theft charges and scheduled to appear in court next week. Officials want to remind people from shoppers to employees that it's not their job to intervene in these situations. If you see something, report it. Dealing with it on your own can often be incredibly dangerous. Reporting live tonight, Daisy Kershaw, WLWT News 5.